Hello everyone, it's Chelsea from Paper Octeo Studio and today I'm sharing with you a mixed media art journal page in a black paper dilutions dialogue. Dilutions dialogue <laughs> art journal. That's hard to say. Um, this is made by Ranger and uh, designed by Diane Reevely. And th these little books fit inside a canvas cover and you just pop them under the little elastics in the center. I have one that, that is kind of a, a whiter cream colored paper with, with uh, lines on it. And then this one is just the black mixed media paper. So I thought it would be kind of fun to do something contrasty. And today is July 1st and it's the first day of our hashtag AJOS Media theme in the Art Joy of Sharing art community on Facebook. And that just means that we're talking about different types of media and um, mixed media styles and techniques. And so art journaling is something great to, to try out with mixed media. Uh, you can use all different types of stuff in your art journal and mix it all up, see how it works, see if it's water soluble, see if it's not, see if it it resists other media or not. It's, it's a good thing to experiment with. So the first thing I started out with was some acrylic paint. I had a little cardboard um, hang tag from a product and I was using that to just kind of swoosh and smush paint across my page. I started out with some white gesso and then moved on to a couple different colors of acrylic paint. Had some uh, Dina Wakeley paints and then some Arteza tube acrylic paint. Just trying to make a warm color uh, swoosh, squiggle, whatever across the page. I was thinking about warm, hot, heat because I am in a place where it's really hot right now and I thought that would be a fun contrast to this black page. So that's how I started out. I was also dragging the end of my paintbrush through the paint to see if I could make some marks, which is always fun too. For some of that, I used a brush. And then I have this little ring of four by four stencil girl stencils from different, uh, mostly from uh, Stencil Club. When you're in Stencil Club with Stencil Girl, you pay a monthly fee and you get a nine by 12, a six by six, and a 4x4 stencil each month. And so I just put all the 4x4s on a little flexible key ring that screws together. It's made out of wire. And I thought it would be fun to just do some stencil mark making on some scraps of paper in the same colors that I was already wanting to make my page in. So I grabbed out different pieces of paper. Sometimes you have a scrap of something and maybe you just want to add something to it. You just want to make some pattern on it or add another color to it and I was thinking about the orange, the yellow, the bright pink and then I also decided that maybe a limey green uh, for the grass and plants and a, a turquoisey sky blue for the sky of summer might be another color to use. I picked out stencils that had similar patterns like um, grids, nets, uh, blocky stacks of things uh, similar but not the same and I'm just I got some cosmetic sponges cheap cosmetic sponges because I'm traveling I can just throw those away when I'm done usually I would use a brush or something because I don't like to be wasteful <laughs> but for traveling squishy cosmetic sponges from the dollar store work great for stenciling so I have this little plastic palette I squeezed out some paint and I'm just messing around going over each piece a couple times with a couple different colors and it's just it's fun it's just fun you get paint all over your hands and that's the fun part probably <laughs> but uh, just seeing what patterns I can make by stacking these stencils and these colors together um, that little piece is a piece of uh, wrapping paper I think it's old wrapping paper it's kind of yellowed on the back but I just wanted to see what it looked like if I put some colors over the top then I also got a little bit of white paint. After I was done with the colors, I thought adding some pattern in white over some of them would be a good idea. So I did that with some white acrylic paint. You know, titanium white is, is 
a opaque paint, so you can put it over the top. Some of the other paints I was using were um, less opaque, and you could see that when I was trying to paint onto that black background, the yellow, if the yellow isn't mixed with the titanium white, it just doesn't even show up. It just looks like a sh kind of a brown <laughs> smear. So, and the same with that, that rose color, that rose pink from Arteza. So that's a little bit of experimentation with acrylic paint. See how it works? Uh, layer it up on itself or on top of other colors of paper and see what you get. It'll really give you an idea of how the opacity of a pigment can change the result of what you get. So I'm just about done messing with these papers. I think this is the last one. <laughs> I just wanted to try all the different patterns of stencils I'd picked out and, and just, you know, have fun with them. Mix a little yellow with white, mix some pink with white. Then I also had a little tube and I decided to do a little bit of circular mark making. The stencils that I picked all had pretty much square and rectangle shapes and I thought it would be fun to maybe mix it up with a little bit of, of this circles with it's it's just the inside of a of a roll of paper that's a tube i like for mark making so then i went back to my page and i got out some black acrylic paint and now i'm adding some more pattern uh, to my page i got a little bit of white um, smear on it from my hands so i needed to cover that up with some black because it looked ugly and then i just kept going with these stencils again making some marks blending them out. It's starting to look pretty fun, I thought. Colorful, but yet tons of contrast with the black background. So then I took my little pieces of paper that I'd stenciled and I started cutting out um, an eyeball shape, leaf shape, whatever you want to call it, a long, a long oval with, with pointy ends. And I'm just freehanding those with a pair of small scissors nothing fancy. Trying to pick out different patterns and different colors from all these um, pieces of little scrap papers that I had stenciled. And then laying them out over my page to see how that would look. Still focusing more on color and pattern than on any type of composition really. Just having fun. This video was recorded on my phone while I was live streaming today on the Art Joy of Sharing live stream show. We live stream over on that channel every Thursday morning at 8.30 Pacific Time, 10.30 uh, uh, Central Time, and whatever time that is where you live. <laughs> you can always come and join us. It's myself and Peg Robinson. We live stream together on that channel. You can join us and you know, talk in the chat with the other people, ask questions, it's in real time. Then I usually take my secondary recording, which in this case, it was kind of a really, really, really uh, not very good recording <laughs> on my phone. I don't have anything with me on travel that I can cast my, my uh, picture to, to see what it looks like. So I didn't realize that this was pretty zoomed out but it's fine. You can still tell what's going on. So I glued down all my little shapes, uh, eyeball shapes, I would say, leaf shapes. Glued them down with a Yoohoo glue stick and then trimmed off the edges of my page. And it's just, it's looking pretty festive. <laughs> I thought maybe some uh, white stenciling just around here and there to kind of blend that line out into the page would be fun. So I got this little stencil that has um, plus signs on one section of it, and I'm just using the little plus signs to kind of scatter around the page and blend out the pattern all the way to the edge. Now, I think I could have just left this page like this, added maybe some words or something, and it would have been a fun abstract page but I still wanted to put some more layers on because I was thinking about a few other things to go in my journal, um, you know, themes, themes in my head. This is my uh, nighttime summer. It's hot. <laughs> There's some stars in the sky, but it's really hot. Uh, that type of an idea. But 
I decided to put some horizontal lines on it with some washi tape just for fun. Um, I'm taking different patterns of washi tape that's black with white pattern on it and then tearing them into smaller strips and then sticking them down. Later I do put matte medium all over them so that they don't come back up. You know, washi tape sometimes doesn't want to stay stuck. It just wants to peel back off. So I wanted to make sure that they would all stay stuck down. But it just adds a little bit more pattern and interest to the page. Again, this would have been a good time to just maybe throw a word on there and stop. But I didn't. <laughs> the live show is an hour and a half. I need to fill all the hour and a half with my page. So then I had a little graphic from a magazine or something of a little dog and I was thinking this doesn't look my, like my dog Mika, but I miss my dog a lot. Um, she's so loving and she just follows me around and looks up at me with her, her glossy brown eyes in a way that makes me feel like I'm the only person in the world. I'm the most important person and sometimes you need that. And I, so I miss her. So I figured I would put a little dog on my page to represent um, missing my little Mika. She's having fun. I've watched her on camera. You know, she's she's with the rest of the family. She's not alone or anything. Or out of kennels. She's she's with number two and number three <laughs> humans, but she doesn't have number one human. <laughs> she's probably forgotten to be honest. But um, then I thought I had this this stencil that I thought I might use for words, so I cut out a couple other little graphics that I had thrown in my my stuff that I brought with me. Uh, some cupcakes and I let that little puppy hold one of the cupcakes um, as if to say this looks like a yummy treat. <laughs> Here's a yummy treat. Then I got out that other stencil that I found and I stenciled it with black acrylic paint onto just a white piece of scrap paper and it says if you obey all the rules you miss all the fun. And that kind of relates as well to what I'm doing. I'm, I'm not doing anything I should be doing. I'm out uh, driving around on weird little roads. I'm eating treats if I feel like it. I'm sleeping as long as I want. I'm staying up as long as I want. I'm watching whatever I want to watch on television because this is my vacation. So I feel like I've been for the last year and a half of the pandemic obeying all the rules, you know, not going out to protect my family, wearing masks if I do go out, uh, not seeing people, not eating at restaurants, and I'm, I'm now not obeying the rules. <laughs> I'm out on the road. Uh, I still try to be careful. I do wear the mask if necessary, but um, I've been, I've eaten at restaurants. I've, I've been eating sugar treats if I want to. So, yeah, this is all good for an art journal. This is kind of, you know, documenting what I'm doing. That's really what art journaling is kind of about, is documenting what you're thinking, what you're feeling, what you're doing. So I, I, I cut apart those words with scissors and then glued them down to my page with the, my glue stick. And now I'm just going to do just a little bit of pen work. I have my Pintel pocket brush, which is a little a uh, brush pen that has a very flexible brush on it and it has India ink inside. You can make fat and thin lines with it. And so I'm going around my little dog to make it stand out from the background a little bit, as well as the cupcakes. And some of the, the other shapes, kind of differentiating them from the background because it's all kind of one color. And so it, they, there needs to be some, some stuff going on with some pen work. I'm also going to do a little bit of this with my white Posca pen, which is acrylic paint pen, very opaque, so it can write over the top of all this acrylic paint and collage easily. And so I'll be doing that in a sec after I finish up with the other pen. I hope you're enjoying this video, and if you are, please remember to give it a thumbs up. 
You can leave me a comment or a question below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and if you are subscribed and you haven't yet, turn on your notification bells. They're kind of useful. You log into to YouTube and it says, oh, Chelsea has a new video. Gives you a link to it, you know, gives you a little graphic to click on. So in that way, you can find my videos easy. And I, I post videos pretty, pretty often. So you can do that. All those things help the algorithm learn that my channel is valuable and recommend it to other people, which helps my channel grow. Still trying to get to 20,000 subscribers, so hopefully soon. <laughs> so I added a little pink heart to my doggy, and I, I used a Stabilo All pencil, or no, a Stabilo Woody's pencil to kind of pink up the cheeks of the doggy because I thought that would be cute. And I used my white pen a little bit to um, brighten up a few things and do some splatters. And then the last thing I did, I thought my dog needed a crown because she's a princess, pretty, pretty princess. And so I made a little crown shape out of a scrap of paper and then put the details on it, went around it with the pen and then added a few little stick on gems because if it's a crown it's got to have gems right so that's it for me for today thanks so much for watching bye bye